So what I'm going to do today is another attempt at doing some abstract art, but I'm going to do it a little bit different now. I've been doing a course online and I think I've got a little bit more of a grasp to it. So this is the kind of thing that I've learned. Before I start, I'm going to put just some squiggles in here using this graphite 6 and I'm not doing anything really that's anything other than just a random pattern and now I'm going to go over with a little fan brush and a bit of water and soften this out in quite a few places well actually all over now I have no idea how this is going to turn out but I'm hoping from what I've learned about adding colour and different bits and pieces it's going to turn out okay but I'll let you be the judge of it I am loving this little journey that I'm on I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am because honestly I never realised how much there is you need to know about doing abstract art I just thought it was a case of slopping the paint onto the canvas but it isn't so now I've done that I'm going to now go through with the 2B and Again, just add a little bit to this. And there we are. I'm not going to water that down. Now, a lot of this isn't going to be seen, so I'm not too worried about that. What I've got here is a mixture of white acrylic paint, some water and PVA glue that I've mixed up in a jar, and I'm painting this over the top of this. It should be fairly translucent, but I am going to do it all the way over everywhere. And I'm hoping that this is gonna take a few more minutes to dry than it would normally. I've got the heating on here today, so it's quite warm. And hopefully it's the water and the glue that is going to cause that acrylic paint to take a little bit longer to dry. But you can definitely see how much that has kind of toned down that there. Give my brush a good wash out. I can put the lid back on that. And now I'm going to be using some blues, some yellows and some reds. And I think the first colour I'm going to use is yellow. I'm going to wet my brush. I want this to be quite nicely spread out, but not in any real kind of pattern. And I also want to ensure that I leave some white space in there as well, which is something I've not done before. For. Put a bit of water in there, brush that out so it actually blends out. And I'm going to go down the side, which is something I don't normally do. So I'm brushing all this out at these edges. And then I'm going to do exactly the same with the red on this side. I've got quite a wet brush here for this. And there's still water on that canvas as well. So that'll do. And again, go around, going down some of the sides, brushing that out. And then in the middle, I'm going to use a cerulean blue and just a tiny bit here then i'm going to do exactly the same with that brush that out lightly now i'm going to leave that like that to dry for about five or ten minutes before i do the next stage well that's dry enough now and it's kind of touch dry it's a little tacky in a few places but other than that it's okay and what i'm going to do now is just use some water in a spray bottle and give it a few sprays of water over the top and now I'm going to go in with some different colours and it's all about apparently the contrast of light and dark so I'm going to put a bit up here of this phalo blue and then work out where I'm going to bring this and this is again all about layers and doing some layering and building up the layers of the colour and some of those marks that I made earlier will get hidden but I'm not worried about that at all. Just about putting the paint on, getting it where you want it, brushing it out and blending it in. I want a bit darker in this middle bit where I've got it here. I'm just popping a bit more in, pull that around a little. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do some splotches of color all the way through it using exactly that technique. I finished building my colors up now and it was literally just a case of putting them on, letting a few dry, blending them in. And actually I'm really starting to to love this i do think it is lacking something so i want to try and put some texture into this going all the way over and i bought a bathroom sponge because they're about a quarter of the price of sponges that you would use with acrylic paint and i'm going to use some white for this as a real contrast because i intend to put some black with it in a little while anyway so i've got my silicon mat here and i like working on the silicon mat and i'm also putting some water with that as well and i'm going to 
mix that around. And then I think I'm going to use that side of the sponge. Dip my sponge in it like that. Take some off and then go round it in places like this. Putting some shape into it and some, well, I suppose it's texture more than anything. Now I'm not going to do the whole thing like this because I know what I'm like. I do have a tendency to go overboard with that and I quite like that. And now I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to add some yellow into this and then go over those same bits with the yellow to see what happens and I've because the white's still there as well this is going to be a little bit more paler yet and then let that dry and then I've got one more thing I want to do to the painting effect before I varnish it yeah that should do pull that on there knock some of that off again and then just go into each one of those uh, you see I've got to be careful now because I'm going to go overboard right so that's it for that stage I'm going to let that dry so now this is dry I'm going to add some black to it now I don't know if this is going to mess it up I don't know if it's going to come out lovely but unless I try I don't know and if I don't like it I can always leave it and then paint over it and do something else with it again. So putting black on my mat here and I'm bringing in a little bit of black onto this scraper and I'm gonna bring it across and just bring some bits down like that. I wasn't sure whether I was going to bring them down horizontally or not, but I think I am because I quite like that. But I do think it needs some going this way as well. Oh, there's a big one. And this is the black that is really going to be contrasting against all those colours. So we've got some lights and some dark. Now, I am tempted to leave it like this, although I do think it needs one there. But I'm not going to put one going vertically. I am going to just do one like that. Same for there. Just going to put a small one in there as well. This is all trial and error for me because, like I said, I've been doing an online course and I find it so difficult to do. But... I am really enjoying it. And that's it. I'm not doing anything else to that painting paint wise now. All I'm going to do is leave that, let it dry, and then I'm going to varnish it. I'm going to use a gloss varnish because I want it to be nice and shiny. Then I'll show you what it looks like up. So I know I said I wasn't going to do anything else to it, but I felt there was too much black on it and it needed that extra little bit of contrast. So what I've done is I've gone through doing exactly the same with a little bit of white and now I am going to leave it alone and see how that comes out well that's all finished now and i've hung it up and i'm keeping it in my living room i really like it i think it's the first piece that i've actually felt i love let me zoom in a little bit more on that so that's what it looks like at close up i'm pleased i gloss varnished it that actually brings out the colors and so does that black and white i'm definitely learning i think i know i've got lots more improving to do and this is going to be a journey probably for the next 10 20 years years but what I can say is it's a journey that I'm starting to really enjoy and I feel I'm starting to make headway so never let anything stop you having a go at something just go for it and play around because you learn every single time let me know in the comments what you think I really would love to know don't forget to boot that like button and also hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos on crafting and things like that take care enjoy your crafting bye